hey viewers hey subscribers and welcome back to my channel aquarian empress tarot for those of you guys who are new to the channel welcome to my returning virgos welcome back my loves so virgo this is going to be you guys' august collective reading this is for those whose sun sign is in the sign of virgo so if this reading doesn't resonate with you look up the other videos um for the other placements in your in your natal chart okay such as your moon and rising and venus sign okay so virgo without further ado let's get into it Virgo. So it looks like upon careful inspection that you guys have the three of swords in reverse. I love this for you guys. All right. So if you guys had recently been through um, a very challenging relationship situation, especially as you're coming out of that grief and that sorrow. Also, I feel like you guys have learned lessons from your past relationship experiences, Virgo. Let me know if this resonates with you down in the comment section. Okay. Also, if you're new to the channel, Virgo, side note, Please be sure to um, please be sure to subscribe and make sure you thumbs up the video if you enjoy the reading. All right. Now, why do I feel like this is upside down? Because it is. Okay. So we have the Four of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Some of you guys um, have taken a break from dating or um, engaging in relationships right now three of pentacles you guys may be trying to build up build or regain your self-confidence your self-esteem also you guys may be trying to um focus on work king of swords you guys are being um honest with yourselves virgo about the situation currently that maybe you're just not in the heart space or the frame of mind to deal with anyone right now and so you're taking time for self. And I love that for you guys. Your mental health is more important than anything. Um, also, you guys are trying to be very strategic. You guys are very picky. We know you We know you have the OCD, Virgo. We know it. Okay. <laughs> we know y'all are some of the most picky ones in the Zodiac next to Taurus. So you guys are thinking very carefully about um, who you deal with and how you deal with the individual and what they bring to the table. So King of Swords is definitely about being strategic and also withdrawn. Like, like I said, some of you guys may be taking a break with this Four of Swords because you're exhausted. You're tired of the drama that comes with relationships and you guys just kind of want to be alone for right now. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. So taking a break um, and, and trying to, some of you guys, some of you guys may have been in a third party situation. That's for a few of y'all, which is why you may be coming out of a, a heartbreak situation because you realize you weren't the only one this person was seeing or was with and you had to move on because you knew that you deserve better than that we have the king of pentacles maybe you thought this person was i don't know um well established that this person was going to be willing to reciprocate the energy that you brought um sometimes people are very selfish virgo and spirit allows us to see that um you know in our own in our own time everybody learns the lessons that they need to learn within their own time so don't don't be so hard on yourself we got the king of pentacles here i feel like some of you guys will be meeting someone eventually that is very stable this person is very financially um supportive this person has their shit together virgo um and this person wants to support you they want to be in that king energy that very strong divine masculine energy this is a man's man this is a manly man um, this person may work in construction. This person could be, um, they could be an entrepreneur. They could be running their own business. But I feel like this person definitely could be the person for you. Definitely, definitely could be the person for you. Um, let's keep going, spirit. We also have the Ace of Swords. This person um, could reach out to you first, especially if they're curious to know a little bit more about you. But also, I'm, I'm feeling like you guys may be receiving clarity with this Ace of Swords um, on a past situation. Like I said, you're coming out of that Three of Swords because the Three of Swords is in reverse here. You see it? Let me move this. 
So the three of swords is in reverse next to the four of swords. Yeah, you guys have been focused on your healing and focused on your career and focused on rebuilding your self-confidence, right? And being more strategic about who you deal with on a romantic level. And I love that for you guys. It's like you guys are using wisdom when it comes to, to dealing with um, relationships. We have the four of wands. Yes. So the four of wands is about starting a new foundation with someone. Like I said, remember we had... Let me move this down a little bit. Remember, we have King of Pentacles here, right? So this King of Pentacles is somebody who's very financially stable. They're financially secure. They have their own place. They have their own transportation. This person can take you on the dates. They can pay for the dates. They can afford it. They can afford you, Virgo. <laughs> the question to ask yourself is, are you ready? Are you ready for it? Like this person may be wanting to start a new cycle with you, but are you going to be in an energy to start a new cycle with them? If not, take as much time as you need to heal, Virgo. It's perfectly fine. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you guys have closed out a cycle and a new cycle is going to begin. We have the Two of Swords. You blocked somebody recently because, and you cut them out or you removed yourself from the equation because with the two, the two of swords, it's like, and then she's blindfolded here. You see the little blindfold that she's got here with the two of swords. It's hot and cold. We have red and blue here. The energy between you and this past person was very hot and cold. This person was very in and out. Whoever the past person was, Virgo, was very in and out. And you guys are, you, you guys was like, nah, I'm not going to keep dealing with this. Um, three of wands in reverse came out. So it's like you guys turned your back on that situation because it wasn't a successful situation and you didn't see it going anywhere because keep in mind, okay, so this is in the reverse. In the upright, the three of wands represents growth. Well, if it's in the reverse, it's stagnant. So the relationship was stagnant, which is why I was going nowhere. It was that a stalemate, two of swords. So now you have this king of pentacles who's going to be coming towards you guys. This person is going to want to communicate with you because swords is also about thoughts and communication. It's air energy. Okay, could be um, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. There's a lot of swords on the board. So you guys could have air placements or be dealing with someone who's an air sign. I also have Earth here with the King of Pentacles and I have Fire King of Wands. Okay, so keep that in mind. You guys will have new love coming in um, the month of August for some of you guys. Only take what resonates or you could already be dealing with this person. It could be a new relationship that you're already entertaining someone. Um, that thinks highly of you, Virgo. But it's like, are you going to be the one that's emotionally unavailable for this? That's something to ask yourselves. And please keep in mind, Virgo, that I do offer personalized readings, okay? Love readings are available on my site for full in-depth um, information in regards to your particular situation. The description will be, the link to the website will be down in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and, and turn on your post notifications. And until next time, love you guys.